Cool. All right, so let's jump right in here. So the first thing we're going to have to choose is our difficulty. Uh, three difficulty modes to choose from, casual, survival, and nightmare. Uh, if you've played the first game, familiar with the survival horror games, probably recommend Nightmare. It is a challenge. Um, it's rebalanced for that. Punishing. It's punishing. There's different enemies, different locations of things. Um, so definitely something you want to think about when you go into it, if that's your jam and you really like that stuff. Uh, for the sake of this, I'll probably play Survival. I think Survival's good. I think yeah. Survival's right. good. I would say casual definitely, definitely does not mean easy no. in this no. case. No, that is true. <laughs> it's just slightly, slightly less, less death. punishing. Yeah, there's also Maybe more less death. Yeah, as, and we'll go through it and you'll see like how crafting works and, and items and, and things. So there's a lot nightmare. more of that stuff. Everyone says nightmare? Yeah. Where's Akuma? Well, so, all right, I'll, I'll address this now since we got it a lot and we talked about it right beforehand. Uh, Twitch exclusive. Twitch exclusive. Uh, upon beating the game, there will be a th another difficulty mode that gets unlocked. Uh, the name's not finalized in terms of what it is, but I can tell you it will be very, very hard uh, with limited saves and act a little bit different than uh, Akuma mode than uh, from the first game. So Twitch exclusive right there for you, for you and the dozens of people that asked me it. But for the sake of showing gameplay, not to discredit AJ's very advanced skills, we are going to play on survival this time around. Sorry, Maybe guys. we can come back with Nightmare at some other time. No, we should do next stream. We should blindfold myself. We should play a Nightmare. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's how far you get. <laughs> so Actually, you've played this demo so many times, you could probably do it. Uh, aim assist, pretty self-explanatory. So we'll go with yes in terms of just actually using it. And we'll jump right in. There's going to be a quick video that plays to give us a rundown of the story. So I'll shut up. Sebastian. For three years since Beacon happened, you've been searching for answers. You didn't find what you were looking for because they didn't want you to. Mobius knows you've been following us. And they've been watching you for a long time. You trained and trusted me. And in return, I betrayed you. That looks painful. Long before we met, I'm gonna do that to myself. you lost your daughter, Lily. She's still alive. This is your chance to save her. To get back what you lost. Lily needs you. You're gonna need to go back into step. Somebody asked if he does drugs to get yeah. through all no. this. <laughs> Jess said she was gonna try to scare me during the stream. So. <laughs> that was my uh, first miserable effort. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> what a nice elevator. And for those that have asked, we are playing on PC with a controller. Because to try to play with keyboard and mouse would be very awkward to, for us with our current Not setup. super easy for a <laughs> stream like so this. So it would bring the horror a little more in a different way. Yeah, so for the first part, I think I'll kind of just play through like the first couple minutes of it because it's pretty self-explanatory and spooky. Oh. And then we'll get into just like the nitty gritty of the game. And Rated M for mature. Okay, guys. There's going to be some blood in this game. Really? Well, I know. What? <gasps> you also see that? I did that. It's a quick turn. Not in the first game. Ever a fan of the quick turn? Hey, man, it's necessary in some of those fights. That was not like that before. Strange things are afoot. Oh, at my the goodness. Circle K. <laughs> circle K. <laughs> <laughs> there is a quest for subtitles. Do we want to put subtitles on? Sure. Oh. You haven't missed anything yet, but I will do that right now. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, subtitles Oh, there. subtitles are there. He there just isn't talking he talk much. Yet. He's just there quiet type. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's on by default. All right, where are we? Thanks for the camera icon, guys. <laughs> it's a sub selfie. What the? What the hell? <gasps> Lady. Lady in red. Oh. What is that? Oh, I love her, her little dangly arm. <laughs> so weird. I like how you're just like, alley -oop and swoop and go. Well, I thought about stopping and asking if you want to talk to her. That would be like the coffee drink. And you know what? I'll find her on Tinder. One of her heads probably would be down. <laughs> Hurdle! 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 Oh. She's 
right, he's right behind you. That door will Ooh. certainly stop her. It, it, <laughs> that, did that it not? Will, that will we are her. safe. <laughs> You're safe. Did he even lock it? No, her saw blade can't turn knobs. Uh, we're trapped. We need to solve this problem immediately. Or maybe not. <laughs> Puzzle solved. Yeah, so it's also, um, uh, one thing I wanted to point out when we're here too is that we... Oh, Alright, I'll turn around and look at her. Yeah. Turn around and look at her. She's super creepy looking up at me. Oh, oh she's so gross. Yep. Yeah. Look at her wiggle arm. Just wave at her. Oh. And she's like, nah, nah, dog, I'm out. Uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is uh, we start the actual demo that we're playing here starts at chapter two. So obviously there's an introduction to the game. God we saw that really quick story what trail that kind of sets up the stakes. Again, this was the demo that we used for players at PAX for Gamescom and QuakeCon. So just in the sake of time, uh, we, we jumped them forward a little bit in the story. No, Mousy! So this part of the game takes place after he has already been sent back into STEM. That is correct. This is a totally different STEM world than the first game, though. This is actually built using his daughter's mind as the core. That's correct, and she so, has no rec recollection of like things that happened in the first game, yeah, so anything it's like that. Completely new town, like new new environments, new enemies, All everything is new. It's all... Ugh. It's all oh, him I don't in hear his it. terrifying world. With the most extravagant dark room. I've seen two people. Yeah, it's like, long. Ah! It's unnecessary. Oh, you got it! You're kidding me. Don't look back. Okay. Is he here to help? No, never. <laughs> well, he gave us a knife, so kind of he's helping. Yeah, yeah, that is true, actually. It's like yo, this thing I failed you with. No, you're welcome. All right, we gotta just shake this off. Die, no, die, let die. him die. Let him die. Die, 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 Beautiful, beautiful, oh, lovely rip, Again. rip, rip. Uh, the other thing I've seen in chat a couple times is just so we can- Walk it off. <laughs> it's fine. Both, both parts fine. of me will walk it off. Uh, to clarify too, when we say demo, oh, this is a demo we use me. for the convention shows. It's not a public demo that's yeah. out. That's available in the alpha download. If you're at the convention, you got to play this. We want to play it live on Twitch so you guys can see it. We released some videos from it, but uh, wanted to get some live gameplay. <laughs> AJ noticed me. That's Chris. That's my boy. Them, so. <laughs> oh, it's that same person. It's the same person? Yeah. It is. No. <laughs> okay. You noticed me, Senpai. Oh, I should actually this time. Yeah, and maybe I should oh, pay attention now. There you go. Come on, in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Got lots of faces. Go, go, Chris. You look sick. Feel better, better, Chris. Get better, Chris. Freedom. Do we want to give away the comic? While we're uh, getting adjusted from mm. spooky comics. From yeah, he has to shake oh off his shoulder what the stabbing fuck wound. Is going so on here? While he does oh, that. Oh, it's an M-rated stream. All right, let's give away something. All right. Since we got a little bit of a lull in the action. Spoiler. Well, hey, they don't know that. There's literally a lull in the action. It's a it's a tutorial <laughs> oh, menu. Yeah. Literally a tutorial menu. <laughs> so we got the winner for that comic. They want the cat. Well, the cat, cat will comic, come. Comic, cat comic, comic, comic first at a specific comic. point. Comic I first, assume. poster second, cat third, console fourth. So we will be drawing player players. No, that's us. People at random that are in the chat. <laughs> we will message you after the stream to get your information. So please be ready to respond to us. The Pain Thirteen. That's <laughs> such a fitting name. Whoa. The Pain. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic reading. We did just bring the pain, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Congratulations. Get a spooky, spooky comic. You get a spooky comic from our friends at Titan Comics. It's like, this comic's actually really good. It's really good. I love the art, too. I mean, I'm sure it's far away, so you can't see it, but check it out. Local comic store, out now. Yes. Uh, two is coming out. But the pain 13 doesn't need it, because he will have nope. one for free. Nice job, the pain. Continue. All right, so we've gone through there, and now we have to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, we were thrown into this nightmare. We had no idea what was going on. It was supposed to be a little quaint town, but that did not work out. I don't know. This looks a little and quaint to me. This looks like yeah. my college apartment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frat parties. This looks like after. my house now. Yeah. <laughs> medical syringes are back. Let's use that medical syringe. All right. Uh... 
pro tip, spoiler guide. Your very first piece of lore and journal right here in the first house. Look at that. Are there things to collect throughout the entire game? Yeah, so there's a lot of different things to collect. There's journals, um, there's keys. The key system's back from the first game where you can uh, randomly open up one of the, uh, uh, the boxes in the board. Also something new that we showed in one of the videos is the slide system. I love uh, the slides. We'll talk about that a little bit later when we get there inside this demo. So let's, let's proceed forward. Hmm? Oh, hold on. Let me look under someone this book. Has, someone has hidden a gun under this How book. How convenient <laughs> and extraordinarily <laughs> odd. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it when you needed it? Again. Like, Hiding under a book. Again. <laughs> reminds me of my college apartment. <laughs> Maybe this is the right place. For what? His daughter, man. Try yeah. his daughter. To oh, die. Really. <laughs> the right place I to give up and lay down for a nap Oh, forever. photos. I forgot about photos. I said journals, keys, and slides. Photos of the other class. There's, There's another photo. Yeah. What did I get myself into? family pick. 40 total. Kidman. What is he talking on right now? So he's talking on a communicator. I don't know. Basically, this is kind of your lifeline but to the outside world. Wasn't so, a quaint little town. Uh, as the story set up, Kidman recruits you to go back here, into Kidman. STEM, Baker and is this dead. is basically how you communicate There's with her. Running around and get some other functionality a little bit later. Let's we'll see. Awesome. It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? Oh, he is he's not very happy. He's with not him. happy about this. He's not happy here. about Kidman. Would you be happy about this, Kidman? Kind of screwed him in the first game. In no. Terms of just a uh, spoiler alert, I guess, revealing what she actually did. The more info you did. gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Let's equip this. Oops. Where do you put your gun when you play? It always goes on the left. I always for me. put mine in the top, yeah. and then Mine's health on. goes in the left. Health goes Mine's top, the right. gun left for me. It's just Handgun to the right. Shotgun, Shotgun to the right. Shotgun to the right. Crossbow Shotgun to the, bottom. to the top. Yeah. No, Too crossbow quiet. to the top, shotgun to the left, health to the bottom. Uh-oh. Hello? Hey! She seems like a nice lady. Yeah, we should follow her. Absolutely. Let's be friends. Better check it out. Town looks normal. This has got to be a good place to go. Knock, knock. People Hello. are saying this part is gross. How do you know? <laughs> Come on. I mean... Hello? No. Gotta eat. Skin and bones. Oh. Skin and bones. That looks delicious. Gotta eat. So I've given it a lot of thought, guys. And I think I've finally figured out um, her name. Mm -hmm. She's definitely a Martha. Like, right? I can see that. I said like, yeah. for sure, a Martha. Okay. I'm good with that. What's his name? Timmy. <laughs> okay, we'll go with Timmy. <laughs> Timmy's not looking so hot. No. He's skin and bones, dude. He's gotta eat. Gotta eat. Martha's Clean that not plate. a very good mother. Or caretaker. I don't know what she's meant to be. What the? <laughs> He just said he wanted to stay homesick from school. Oh, shit! That's what I thought. Like Martha or Timmy? Everything. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when I'm sick, I am in STEM. <laughs> Alright, you break into her house, you shoot her in her face. That's rude. Sebastian, you're rude. That's rude. There goes your monitor. <laughs> ah. Nice shot. The deadest. I mean, did this, is my well, that? this is my favorite tooltip in the game. It's, it's gross, gross and it comes out of dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can just do it. <laughs> it's completely true. It's gross. It is completely true. Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, yeah I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Poor Timmy. Sebastian. Oh, Timmy. Save it, Kidman. Never forget. 
Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. So the green bar is your health, and then oh yeah, there's a syringe similar right there. setup to the evil within one. Is your stamina any better in this one? Stamina is a little bit better. Uh, so we're gonna go into a little bit of the upgrade system and the skills because Sebastian's learned some new tricks since last time. Uh, so, but yes, off the bat, you do get to run a little bit faster, but still survival horror. Yeah, he's not running a marathon. He's an aging alcoholic. Yes. Oh, yes. I was actually thinking rebuttal. I was like, no, she's right. No, yeah. <laughs> she's right. He, he runs like I do. So we're entering Union. So this is pretty much the town where the majority of the game takes place. Um, obviously, the part before it was not in it, but the rest of it is inside of Union. Oh, I can't run that fast. So again, this is kind of like the quaint little town made with the mind of a child about uh, every, any town USA, I guess you could say, but strangely, things have gone awry. Oh, I wonder why. I don't know why. Uh -oh. seen two questions about the engine of the game. The game is running on a custom stem engine by the guys at Tango Game Works. O'Neill, move! Sucks to suck, buddy. <laughs> so we're going to show off something that's actually kind of cool and new. Uh, so if you played the DLC, you'll remember that there was a cover system in place. Uh, that is brought back here, so we can just... Those things we can everywhere. be over here and hide, or we can actually snap to cover, making it pretty easy to, to avoid uh, enemies, guy bad guys, and things like that. So this is going to tell us how we can sneak kill some guys, too. Let's go over here real quick. Pick up a bottle. Might have actually alerted her. Yep. Yeah, that eyeball's open up for you. Get out of here, sister. Oh, I got it. Oh. oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah. Hurry! Run! Yeah. <laughs> Play this demo a hundred times. Leave, That's Liz. probably happened once. <laughs> Welcome to survival horror. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> True life. Let's try that again. Flashlight off. Yeah. For stealth. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of like snapped in here. You can walk around corners. Um, when you get to the edge, it'll allow you to like go around the corner. It's, it's a pretty cool system. If you've played the, the DLCs, it's very similar to that. What do you use the bottles for? So the bottles are used to distract enemies. Um, so I can throw them at something or someone, or a creepy monster dude, to get them out of the way. If I want to go around them, I don't want to kill them. Um, if you're going for that pacifist play, like you're a dishonor player at heart, <laughs> do that. I don't know why you'd be a pacifist player with a bunch of... Is he just angry? Uh, he's hungry, dude. There are also other cool things that you can do with the bottle. Yeah. Uh, one of the cool things is the skill Sebastian gets. We'll go through that when we, when we get there. Uh, I'll use the, I'll do the bottle system over here just to make this guy go across. So I can go through here just killing these if I want to, sneak killing, or, like I said before, just being a complete pacifist. So we'll pick up this bottle. We'll throw it to the right to get that guy off the, the door where we're trying to get to. And we'll go from there. I found that it's very hard to do the whole guns blazing thing with the limited amount of... Yeah. Very hard. Ammo and weapons that you have. It's right, definitely so. possible to do it, but you have to do some serious preparing. All right, so we're going to throw that bottle over there. Like, yo fam, go look at that sound. If you'll go. Let's throw another no, one. No, he saw you. Nah. No. Oh, not yet. I thought he did. It looked like he was coming at you for a little bit. This one, you might just want to... You know what, Anne? Okay. I'm... Hey, man. You my do name you. Is you chase your bliss. Nice. Oh, that makes my, like, back cringe every time. 
Shut you worried up. that somebody's gonna do yeah. that to you someday? You have to <laughs> always have to be prepared. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> oh fuck. For those that are just joining us, we are playing The Evil Hopefully Within 2, and we are playing on PC with an Xbox controller. I think we do a giveaway after we talk to... after we go through this door. Okay. I think that uh, there is a specific giveaway coming up that we should... Don't come any closer! Well, we'll get to, we'll get okay. to the Okay, calm down. Oh, she's there. Don't shoot. <laughs> She's every, she's right I'm not gonna hurt you. See? You can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things. Someone but just said Sebastian's That very doesn't attractive. mean you're on my side. You're right. He's, he's got that. I don't he's work got for that Mobius, grizzled, that rugged, manly face. <laughs> that Have grizzled. Seen I've seen some stuff. Look. Yeah. Seen some shit. What they can do? <laughs> kind of got that bad boy yeah, vibe a little bit too. <laughs> Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice <laughs> himself so you could I think escape. So. Yeah. That yeah, wasn't my partner. Need to get him like a leather jacket. Just a leather jacket. Security detail. Protecting me. I don't think he looks like Steve Jobs. My job. Hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my Leo? pay grade. I'm not a soldier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a technician. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he looks older than the first game. Russia. He's definitely older than the first game. By three years. Yep. Not to mention, became an alcoholic, lost the his soldier job. soldier would have taken the safety off. He's lost a lot. Yeah. He's a little withered. Everybody thinks he's crazy. It's great. I told you. He's having a fun time. We're on the same side. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. You know what it sounds like? Remember Nextel walkie talkies? Was yes. that <laughs> The core? I think that so. Beeping? But I've been oh. picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah, okay. Can't hurt, I guess. All right, so. So that conversation is actually part of a larger conversation mm -hmm. in, the, in, yep, the, in the game. Yep, exactly. So there's a lot of cast of characters in this game, too, that you'll meet and come across. Mobius has sent in people ahead of you to try to fix the problem. Uh, as we mentioned before, Sebastian is kind of the last resort. So Liam is one of those characters that we meet. Um, you can interact with him in the full game to possibly get some more information about the game. I'm sorry, about what's going on in the STEM system. He can give other quests. Um, or you can happen to stumble across them when you're out in the game using the um, communicator device that we just got and learned about. So, uh, yeah, big cast of characters that'll be helping you out um, and just kind of figuring out exactly what is going on in this world. So give us a tour of the little safe room that you're in. All right, so in. we got our terminal, so let's save just for... I, I'm When I play games, I don't know if I'm alone, I'm the one that always does the three saves. Oh, I do the three yeah, saves Yeah, you do the three too. saves and then you go back in case you screw up. Yeah, exactly. 
All right, so what we got in here? So let's go through a couple of the new systems that are in here. So weapon parts. So we picked up green gel before. Green gel is used to upgrade Sebastian. Weapon parts uh, are used to upgrade weapons. What? I know. <laughs> so yeah, in this game, it is different. They are broken apart. In the first game, you had one currency, essentially, to upgrade those things. Uh, so let's take a look. The spider web on the workbench is a nice touch. I've never noticed that. <laughs> All right, so here we can see that we can do weapon upgrades or crafting. So crafting self-explanatory. As we find things in the world like uh, fuses, gunpowder, things like that, we can make ammo, we can make um, syringes. In this case, we can upgrade our weapons. So let's take a look here. What do we want to upgrade? I'll tell you what my favorite is, but I want you to pick. And you can pick. Let's do it. Uh, even before I start doing firepower, I usually start with fire rate. Yes. But we no, can't. can't. You can find it out. Uh, ammo capacity, maybe. There you go. Yeah. Reload speed. All right, that Reload's works pretty important in this game. So as you can see, there's multiple trees, multiple things. Uh, this right here is high-grade weapon parts, so you'll have to find um, essentially a different version of the weapon parts to kind of unlock the next step in the in the trees for the weapons. But one of the coolest things is actually after we visit the yeah. workbench, it allows for field crafting. So. We know it's a survival horror game, we know that you're not going to have endless amounts of ammo, but one of the great things about the Evil Within 2 is if you are in that sticky situation and you don't have handgun ammo, you don't have shotgun ammo, you can actually craft it on the fly if you do have resources. The downside of that though is it does take more than normal, so um, it's not going to be the same amount of components to make those bullets or those uh, medical syringes, but you can actually do it on the fly and it really obviously helps out. And yeah, I mean you definitely don't want to do that all the time, right. that's like a desperate situation kind of thing. a desperate thing, situation, yeah. Resources are tight. Yep, and you can access that anytime from the wheel right inside of here. Just field crafting. So let's see what else we got in here. That guy says that's a good idea. We agree. It was a very good idea. <laughs> Do we just save oh, oh, all of us? What is this? Times? That's a familiar oh. face from the first game. What's well, that sound? That's the a, back of a familiar face. That's a familiar sound too. Who is that? What is that? Oh. Should we do it? Yeah. Should we go in? Yes. Should we go in? Yeah. Oh. Now oh, people are mad that you didn't drink the coffee. Oh. <laughs> out of, out I, of that nasty coffee. I completely cup. forgot about the coffee. The coffee is actually pretty cool. The coffee is a timed thing, uh, so you can replenish your health completely, but it does take a set amount of time to actually brew, brew a new pot of coffee. So you can't use it all the time. you got to use it sparingly. I completely forgot about Just that. Just like real life. Just like real life. You need coffee to survive. I hate coffee. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you would eat. That's you. Do you want to give away a post the poster? Wait, we should give away something in a minute. Well, we're going to give away okay, three yeah, other things. Let's give away in a the minute, poster. But and we're going down the line. <sighs> here, I'll sit down and we'll. Uh, so, here we go. Here's the same system we from the first game where we can get some keys and find out what's going on there. Well, let's see a familiar face. Maybe? Well, congratulations, Lakers for Life 24555. You have won an, an Evil Within poster. Yes. So, we will contact you after. Looks like that. <laughs> I thought you were going to po point to the tube. <laughs> <laughs> we'll contact you after the stream for your information. Um, we have two more prizes to give away. Hey, we have a Save Kitty let plush. Me out of here. And we have a custom console yeah. with Evil Within artwork. Detective Castellanos. There she is. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. How is she there? Regardless, it's mm -hmm. nice to see Mysteries. a familiar face. Mysteries aplenty. Even if that face has seen far too much. You look tired, detective. I can help you get back in shape. Just like before. She's so helpful. So let's take a look at Thanks, the skills. Tatiana. So we have our real basic skills um, that we've seen before in terms of like upgrading health, upgrading stamina, but there's a couple really cool new things that we'll, we'll point out. There's actually an article that Anne wrote up yeah. on Bethesda Net about it. Um, so there's some activatable skills that we have. Let's take a look over in combat, for example. Um, so something like this is a push kill. So normally when um, you knock down an enemy, you can basically execute them by stomping on them, which is a cool way to quickly get rid of an enemy without using some ammo. Another one is the synaptic focus in terms of uh, you press Y when aiming to concentrate down the sights. Kind of slows down time. Um, and then another one would be like as you shoot, uh, 
um, consecutively you're doing more and more damage. So. And these are super, super cool abilities, but they're also they are super, super expensive. Super expensive. Yep, that's exactly what I was about to say. So they either require, you know, two playthroughs yep. or you really need to focus on building up towards those things, which means yep. kind of ignoring some other potentially very helpful upgrades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one of the other things that um, that Anne mentioned before in terms of the use of the bottles, uh, there's a cool skill that allows you just to actually use skill. the bottle when somebody latches onto you to break them and, and jump off them, which is actually pretty cool. So. Plenty of ways to make your Sebastian your way. Yep, exactly. Um, so let's see, we haven't picked up enough green gel because I wasn't picking it up before. It's fine. We'll pick up. You're not a very good collector. Um, I actually don't. What do you collect think that much. feels like? <laughs> but we're about to we're about to see more of the game, and I can guarantee there'll be some more stuff in there. So let's see here. So this is Sebastian's room. This is kind of a room that Sebastian has made, um, almost like a safe spot, a safe place of what he's used to <gasps> where he's been before. What do we oh! have? Here? Save kitty. Save kitty. And a slide. And a slide. <laughs> we'll take the slide. But mostly the kitty. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? Yep, so slides are collectible. When you get the slides, we'll we'll use the slide in a second to see what they do, but um, usually start a conversation with Kidman to find out mm -hmm. about like what is going on, their relationship. Um, a really cool way to progress those characters. And there's the cat meowing at us. <laughs> I think it's a sign. Is it a sign? Sign to give away a save kitty? I think we have to give away a cat. I think so. We will pull a winner for their own save kitty. Before, I, I, in order to do that though, I need to see the chat like full of cat emotes. Okay. I think it's only fitting. Yeah. Well, we'll wait for the cat emotes to flood and well, then. And as we do that, I'll, I'll play the, uh, I'll interact with the projector to talk to Kim and so people can flood it with cats and uh, check out what Sebastian <laughs> has to say to, uh, to Kim. There we go. There are some cats. There's a lot of cats. There you go. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn <laughs> machine didn't go on the fritz. <laughs> I would have spent the rest of my life it's warning good. her, and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. That's my favorite cat with the sunglasses. Who knew there was oh, That was an orc. Whoever did that, you're cheating. Okay, <laughs> I get like 12 it. 12 orcs. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. So this is one of the slides. many slides, yeah. Um, collect all the slides in the game and you'll have to find out for yourself. Yeah. And congratulations to Maltus22 for winning your own save kitty. And just like that, the cat also gave us some green gel just for taking a look at that slide. Thanks, it's like kitty. a prize Thanks, isn't kitty. a prize. Thanks, kitty. Yeah, those slides are kind of spread all throughout the world. Yep. Sometimes you have to do specific things to get them. Yep. Sometimes you have to go through specific encounters, but they are all very cool and lead to some, some nice bits of lore. And yeah, I think it's just cool to have the conversations between Sebastian and Kim and Ray. They've been yeah. through a lot and you can learn a lot about the characters and it's pretty cool. So let's continue on our journey through Union and see what the heck's going on. So the world's pretty open. There's lots of different Gee. places you can explore just in this let's area. Can find this we want to have chat pick where we're going to head after giving a little brief rundown yeah. of some options. Yeah, totally. So when we first uh, walk out of here, we learned about the resonator system. So that little icon on the top left tells us that there's something that we're picking up on our communicator device, something that's going on, be it a quest objective, something that happened in the world, um, a fallen that's agent. The there's there's like 15 to 20 God, just in this immediate area. So there's tons and tons of stuff to do. So as you can see now, we're now locked onto it. It'll also mark it on our map, so we can take a look at the map. This is the whole area we have to explore in this. So we want to go up this way. So, but that's do just we? For the, that's just for the main quest. Correct. Yep. So we just could also go ahead and do some side stuff yep. if that's what people want to look at yeah. instead. Maybe we could each totally. give our favorite little side area. And I think we should. Okay. Cool. If it 
it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Right, so now should it also, shows up for picking up another one. So. Should also mention that this is just like the first area. There are all these different kinds of domains that have been, that have sprung up in this world during its collapse. And I actually have, a, not to pimp my own stuff, but I have a, a very hearty- <laughs> Not, that was I know. strategic. Uh, I have a very he healthy sized feature with some awesome quotes from the dev team talking about um, how this world was created, why it's falling apart, uh, the people who are taking advantage of it falling apart, and uh, I think it's there's some really interesting stuff in there. All right, so we picked up a, res a couple of resonator points. Um, as you can see, again, they all get logged once you once you kind of zoom or uh, tag them. So this one's the warden crossbow. We want to get a crossbow. Do we want weapons? Do we want creepy enemies? Let's let, yeah, let's let check this out. Or do we one. want like some more story? So we've mm. got. So I personally let's am a fan the of like the weaponry and then like the creepy enemies afterwards, right? Okay, so favorite location. I don't know, I really do like that flashback house. I think we should save that for later. Save flashback for later? I think, I think so. Okay. What about Anima House? Could do that too. I know you're a fan of the slide system. I let's love the Let's get the weapon system. first. <laughs> let's get the crossbow okay. through there and then we can go check out that house. Yeah. All right, so again, we're gonna snap to cover over here, which is really great. Um, make our way around these guys. Another resonator point. It's like there's a ton of them or something. You're much braver than I am. Yeah. When it comes to these guys, I like to hide up on the roof that's over there and then just like pistol snipe from above. Do I have any more? No, I'm out of those. So I'm Almost got spotted. Yeah, and you can see that little carrot type thing that shows up on the screen. That is showing you cover you can dash and snap to. Where are we for? Should be right in front. Let's pick that up. Yeah, some gunpowder. What oh. is this? Oh my! Haven't seen one of these in a while. That poor, poor man. Fan favorite. Got a new name now. It does. Warden crossbow. So, uh, just like in the first game too, we have multiple bolts. Uh oh. That doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good. That's a problem. And we've been mentioning the first game a lot, but you don't have to have played the first no. game to no. enjoy the story in this one. Sure, it's a sequel, and the story is fun for both, but you can play this one, pick it up, play without ever having played the Evil Within one. And the dev team has definitely set it up in a way that the beginning of the Oh! <laughs> that was awesome. Later. <laughs> Let's just stun them and run away. Again, being a survival horror game, kind of not set up now to go in there and uh, try to kill nine different uh, lost. Not, not so lost. much right now. Let's go garbage picking. Oh, this is like my jam when I play this game. <laughs> Box box destroying and garbage. Hunting. I like hitting the boxes as hard as I can. I'm all about picking through trash. Oh, what's that? I see a shiny. So where do we say we're going? The other house? Anima house. There's a church right here too. Should we go in that? No. If you want some resources, maybe. Yeah, let's go in there. There's, there's some. I will say that so. you have about ten minutes before we have to hard stop for Ooh. Pete's legend. All right, then let's stream. bypass that. Bypass. Let's see what we over here. If you are trying to win the custom console, which is the only prize we have left, all you have to do is follow the Bethesda channel on Twitch and uh, be in chat if my mic didn't just turn off from falling. Let's kill this guy. Nice. I'm glad that you guys can tell me if you can win. If I tried <laughs> that, it probably wouldn't go very well. <laughs> you grab the hatchet? Oh. oh, yeah, the hatchet, yeah. Good call, good call. Yeah. In this pile of things. Birds. If I had to pick like a go-to weapon, really? it would be the hatchet. The hatchet. Yeah, yeah. Super I, effective, I, right? I love the hatchet. I pick them up every chance I get. So 
we got over here? How, many, how much time did you say we had? Ten? Yeah, ten minutes. So we should have time to do both then. Okay. And I'm a flash. You think? I think so. Mm -hmm. What do we got over here? Oh, oh she was just going to work. Oh, what's this? Let's go in here first. Nothing bad can happen here. Get some resources, man. So that, that's right, that's one of the well. nice things that like the the these areas allow you to do, right? Like you can go off the beaten path if you really want to get resources, you want to get ammo, you want to get stuff that you can upgrade your character with. You're not forced to uh, do that. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> oh no! Oh, and I probably reloaded. That's how I sound. I wake up in the morning when I don't want to. Wow. Some more crafting materials. A lot of crafting materials in here. That's good. This was a good time. Yeah. Bounty a plenty. Yeah, so it's kind of it's totally the risk reward of well. I got oh, three I bullets. Cut you in half for a second. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh oh, I'm picking up something. I'm like, it's coming. It's coming. Walls won't stop it. Doors won't stop it. It's coming. It's coming. What's coming? Walls won't stop it. Doors won't stop it. Nothing will. Can't hide from it. Hey, AJ, nothing will stop it. Maybe... Can't stop, won't stop. Maybe we can't stop either. Boxes. Oh, I the boxes for you. Yes. <laughs> so satisfying. <laughs> and one thing. Yeah, good enough. The box smash was worth it, though. Alright, so we'll stop. Oh, we got it. Or just because I didn't log it. I just logged it soon. Love won't stop it. Yeah, it's coming. She sees it. Love won't stop it. You're gonna get killed. I hear this. Flash. Nothing will. That's cool. Can't hide from it. I love the sound. <laughs> oh. I love oh, the sound. Oh, you're spotted. Oh, boy. oh god. Oh, that is a hysteric. Uh, they are much harder than normal. <laughs> and that's why Ant likes hatchets. That's why I like the hatchets. So I'm just throwsy. It's like, I'm done with this. Uh, done why with would this. you ever get rid of it, though? I think that. it breaks. Yeah, it does. Oh. It breaks. But uh, I do like the idea that it's just, well, you've done your job. Yeah. Time to rest <laughs> Away now. with you. <laughs> Away. This does not look normal. You show that door once yeah, one, AJ. Yeah, that door. What's happening? Oh, the noise gets me. Ugh. It's Did freezing. Did anybody else just shiver? I feel the cold. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to happen. I mean, it doesn't seem great. <laughs> Our house is not supposed to do Definitely that. Definitely the headphones added an extra layer. Oh. Uh, it's This happening. place looks familiar. Looks very familiar. Oh god. The wispies are a nice touch. And the the humming and coming whispering his name. I gotta get out of here. Flashlight. <laughs> I probably don't want to deal with her. Uh, no, I don't can guess. you deal with her? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, spoiler, no. no, no. <laughs> Just Super run. Can't. Always run. Always hide. She's so creepy. She just walks right through walls and doors. Oh. I wish she's a walls beautiful can't singer. Stop it. Doors can't stop it. Yeah, like the communicator. What? Right? Oh my goodness. Full circle. Someone says kill it with fire. Ah, uh, that won't work. That's not gonna work. It's a ghost, man. How do you kill a ghost with fire? She only wants a hug. I think so too. 
<laughs> Ghosts need love too. Nobody appreciates her singing. That's like maybe that's oh, oh god. Let's not go that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some way to get out of here. Oh! Oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh I might be the mistake, dentist. You made a mistake, sir. I might be the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> she turned around. She was supposed to be going around this way. She right. tricked you. Oh, oh. I know what to do here, so I'm gonna do it. Why is there a picture of your family here? Where is she? There's a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, mistakes are Oh, no, she's right, right there. there. I know. I can hear her too. <laughs> Hide her. I wish Can we, we could. Can we beeline it here? Let's just beeline it. Run, 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 run. Take your time, please, Sebastian. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Weird. This looks familiar too. Keep the path. Somebody is dealing with some serious ghosts. Did I just Both imagine that? Literally and no. figuratively. <laughs> that was... What was that thing? Was that real or all in my mind? We'll never know, maybe. And then here, since we survived that encounter. Hooray! More slides! More slides. 11 total in the game. Do we want to give away our custom console? We have a Pete looming. How long do we have? Uh, now. Two minutes. Two minutes. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, we can give that away and I'll, I'll be out all here right. trying to run to a... AJ's gonna run for it, and we're going to pick our custom console winner. Remember, they are North American consoles, so you can win one if you're outside of the U.S., but it's gonna have a U.S. electrical plug, so. Um, congratulations to Capone214. You have won a custom Evil Within console. We will message you shortly after the stream ends to get your preference for an Xbox One S or a PlayStation 4 Pro. What is that? I don't like that one. She's not happy, that's for sure. Spooky. Oops. You have one minute, AJ. You better yeah. run for it. I'm beelining it to the main store, to the uh, our main objective, the original <laughs> thing that we heard Lily's voice on. We're using the communicator now to kind of see what happened in the past, so we're able to kind of go in and out of that plane to see exactly what's going on here. If the door would open. There we go. Why is the door Are these lilies? Well, they're not yours. Could be. I think you his hands are anymore. a little bit bigger than that. Lily! Are you here? It's Dad. She go. I like the feet slappy sound. It's a little bit creepy. Lily, it's okay. It's me. Damn it! All right, calm down. Do we want to end it? How do I get We're in there? to the end of this thing, huh? Unfortunately, that's all we have time for we today. We don't want to spoil that. We won't want to spoil the story. We hope that you enjoyed our stream of The Evil Within 2. <laughs> the Evil Within 2 releases. October 13th, yo. <laughs> October 13th. Friday, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and, and PC. Had a good time. Had a good time. Had too. a great time. Did Let's the cats have a good sometime. time? No. Well. I think we are going to do this again, actually, I didn't now that you cover their that. eyes yes. during the scary parts, so they're probably going to have nightmares. Yeah. So we'll see you next time, and enjoy your next stream, uh, The Elder Scrolls Legends with Pete Hines. Woohoo! Thanks, everyone, for coming by. What are you thinking about? Lily. 
Everything that's happening in here is because of her. She's still a sweet little girl. I hope so. She's the real victim here. Failed. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. <gasps> 